Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zothar Gardens and this is episode 188 of Gardening Without Edits. I'm going to show you something uh, right now and then uh, the next episode will be something right in front of me. That will be uh, 189. But let me show you what I noticed right now. And it's something where maybe some people that uh, haven't gardened too long might freak out over. But you got to hold off. Before you spray, you got to hold off. And let me show you why. And there's my daughter. Always next to me. Okay, so this is my Dapple Dandy Pluot. You see how much Pluot is going to give. I, if I find them, I'll show some older videos of this. This is an extremely delicious and productive Pluot fruit tree. Very delicious. You can see how much more over there. I want to hug it. You want to hug? Um, hold on. So, when I look, what did I notice? Daddy. I noticed little... Daddy. Hold on, Talene. I noticed, okay. you see the shiny specks on the pluot? That, you, you made a castle? Look at that cat, look at the dirt castle, everybody. Look at the dirt castle. You want, okay, you wanna see? Sorry, everybody, so hopefully you're still here. Hey, you guys want me to film as much as possible? I have kids, it's not the easiest. Um, anyways, you see the shiny specks on the pluot? To, um, it could be many reasons, but when I saw it, I automatically knew what that was. That is um, fecal matter by aphids. Uh, qu uh, coincidentally, that's very sweet. Um, that's why ants go crazy over it. So when you look, so I see it on top of here, and when you look up, you see aphids everywhere. So you can see all the, the dead aphids. Let me zoom in. You see all the, the, the leaves that are really... Uh, really bad looking those are aphids and some might go oh no i gotta hurry up because there's a lot it goes all the way up it goes all the way up i gotta hurry up i gotta spray let's say if you do okay you see there's more issues they only really attack the new leaves but if you if you slow down you'll see please you see oh come on please zoom in right let's see if i can do a two Maybe not everybody. I'll have to, oh, oh, okay. I'll do it here. So anyways, there's tons of lady ladybug larvae everywhere. There's one, one big one that's ready to turn into a ladybug. Here's some little ones, you see them? They're there to eat. I, I have some ladybugs too. Let's see if I can film them. Um, let's see if I can get even closer. So if you see these little like crocodile looking things or alligators, don't kill them. They're there to eat the aphids. You see another one right there? Nature will take its course. The more we intervene as gardeners, in my experience, the more I intervene, the more I screw up things. Sometimes you just have to walk away. What's that? You have to walk away. What's what? What is that? That's asparagus seed. No, that's a piece of plastic. Where'd you get that from? So the more we intervene, in my experience, the more problems can happen. So if I sprayed this, I just sprayed a whole generation in this area in microclimate, a whole generation of ladybugs. And then I won't have ladybug adults to eat other, uh, oh, I see another problem over there, other bugs in the future. Anyways, thought that would be interesting for everybody. Beautiful tree, huh? And by the way, I cut this tree in half right over here. I prune it this way so I could walk. Happy gardening, everybody. Bye.